unless you're a sports nut, you probably can't tell me who won Super Bowl three, Super Bowl seven, Super Bowl twelve. You know, these are probably great moments, obviously, especially in the players' lives. But after a while, we just kind of forget about this stuff. You know, we get caught up in our own lives. Life goes on. The years pass. Some of these guys are fortunate enough to make it into the Hall of Fame. And they probably have a better chance of being remembered for their great achievements, their hard work, you know, what they did with their lives. I want to share with you something today from Hebrews chapter 11. Hebrews chapter 11 is kind of known as the Hall of Fame chapter for the heroes of faith. You see, the things that we achieve in this lifetime, the earthly things, it's great for a moment, but it doesn't really last. It's soon forgotten. But faith is something that takes us into eternity. The faith in what God has done for us, that's what this season is all about. He promised a Savior so that we could have hope. And in Hebrews chapter 11, it's such an amazing chapter. It is the Hall of Fame of people who, through the faith given to them by the Holy Spirit, we're able to achieve great things. I wish I had time to read the whole chapter. I would encourage you to read Hebrews chapter 11 today or sometime this week. But it starts off by saying, Faith shows the reality of what we hope for. It is the evidence of things we cannot see. Through their faith, people in days of old earned a good reputation. By faith, we understand that the entire universe was formed at God's command. That what we now see did not come from anything that can be seen. It was by faith that Abel brought a more acceptable offering to God than Cain did. And then it goes on and it talks about Abraham. By faith, he was able to leave the land that God told him to go to the land that he was going to show him. It was by faith that Sarah, even though she was old, was still able to have a child. It just goes on and on. you got to read it. I just love it. Enoch. It was by faith that Enoch was taken up to heaven without dying. It was by faith that Noah built a large boat to save his family from the flood. Uh, Abraham, I just mentioned him, and Sarah. You just keep scrolling through the Hall of Fame. Look at the heroes. Look at what they accomplished through God working in them. Talks about Jacob, Joseph, Moses. And I'm going to scroll down to the one part that I'm looking for. And it says, how much more do I need to say? It would take too long to recount the stories of the faith of Gideon. Barak, Samson, David, Samuel, and all the prophets. By faith, these people overthrew kingdoms, ruled with justice, received what God had promised them. They shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fires of flame, flames of fire, and escaped death by the edge of the sword. Their weakness was turned to strength. They became strong in battle and put whole armies to flight. Women received their loved ones back again from death. Others were tortured, refusing to turn from God in order to be set free. They placed their hope in a better life after the resurrection. And I love the way the chapter ends, because now this includes you. After the whole chapter of talking about all these heroes, look at the, trans, uh, the transition now, what happens here. For God had something better in mind for us, so that they would not reach perfection without us. Isn't that cool? The writer of Hebrews talks in this whole chapter about all these people and then it switches and says, for God has something better in mind for us so that they would not reach perfection without us. See, it's all about God and what he has done. It's all about the grace that comes to us through Jesus Christ, his death on the cross. That's really what it's all about. Isn't that great news for you today? We have something better. We have the hope of resurrection. So you know what? Even though your name's not mentioned specifically, I would say if you have faith in Jesus Christ, you are a member of the great Hall of Fame of Faith. Congratulations and praise and glory to God. I hope you have a great day today. I hope you just continue to prepare for the coming birth of Jesus Christ and to celebrate that and everything that means for us who have faith in the coming of Jesus once again to take us to be with him forever in heaven.